So you guys have probably heard of the company Kuat, and last month I got the opportunity to review their Piston SR hitch mounted bike rack, and that thing is absolutely awesome. Well, that bike rack actually has an extra trick up its sleeve. As you can see, it's actually mounted up to this awesome overlander configuration that's on the bed of my truck. This particular setup is called the Ibex, and it's made by Kuat. Now, I'm not an overlander, I'm not an off-roader, I don't know anything about that type of topic, but I do love the looks of this particular product. And I also love the functionality when it comes to the bike rack. So I wanna go over my experiences with the Ibex setup as a cyclist. So for all my cycling friends out there and my non-overlander friends, what exactly is the Ibex setup? Well, this is considered an overland setup and it goes on the bed of your truck. This is an aluminum cage that you can buy all kinds of accessories for to attach different things to your truck. Now this setup right here is called a Molly, and a Molly offers all kinds of different holes to be able to attach all kinds of accessories. On the Kuat website, they have all kinds of different attachments. You can attach a shovel, a jack, all kinds of different stuff. Things that I haven't actually used because I'm not an overlander. I don't really take my truck off road. I take it to the trailhead and go out for a ride. One of the really cool things that I like about the Ibex system is it works for any truck bed. But if you have a Toyota Tacoma, a Tundra, or some Jeeps, you may get these T-channels right here that you can actually connect into. And as you can see, this little guy right here will actually attach to the T-channel and then attach to the Ibex system. And the Ibex system has T-channels all over it. And if you don't have a T-channel, they come with some J-hook adapters that will work with a standard truck bed. Now, looking at the top of this, it does come with some adjustable crossbars. So no matter what your truck is, whether it's a narrow truck or a pretty wide truck, you're gonna be able to adjust these to be able to fit to your bed. Now, this will come in different size setups. So if you have a short bed or a long bed, you're gonna need to determine which one you actually need to pick up. And also you can adjust this in height. The way I have it currently set up is the full height. Now you can do a mid height if you have something like a rooftop tent and you want it to be level with the roof of your truck. Here's a really cool example on the Kuat website that shows you really quickly of all the different configurations that you can use with this. Now I do have what they call a mid height Molly, but I haven't actually converted this down to a mid height because it does take quite a bit to convert from full height to mid height and then back. But as of right now, I like the way it looks because it's even with the top of my truck. Now, if I had a rooftop tent, I would definitely want to go mid height with this. And also whenever you're full height, you can have some really cool accessories like this grab handle to help you get up in the bed of your truck. It's super, super sturdy. It's a, basically a solid block of aluminum that isn't gonna go anywhere. And then also over here, a necessity for the trailhead, a Kuat bottle opener. Now, whenever I talk about this being able to go down to a mid height, as you can see here, you've got these corner pieces and then also you've got these middle pieces right here and then a bottom corner piece. Now, the middle piece is what's gonna actually pop out. So you're just gonna have the top corner and the bottom corner that connect to give you that mid height look. So whenever you go full height, you're gonna need this piece in here, but that also allows you to add the attachments like the bottle holder or the grab handle. Now here's a prime example of all the T-channels that you have on this. You've got T-channels up here, you've got a T-channel down here, a T-channel on the side over here, then you have two T-channels on the bottom panel right there. And then you've got all that on the other side too. And you also have mounts on the crossbars up top. Now, one thing that I really like about this is they used a form of a secure Allen key. The Allen key actually has a little bitty like nub sticking in the middle of it. So you're gonna need some sort of specialty Allen key to be able to remove this. So somebody can't just come along and actually take the Ibex system off your truck. And speaking of being able to remove this, this thing is super lightweight. I was really shocked at how light it was. If it wasn't physically so big, the average person could probably pick this up and put it on the truck themselves. But with two people, this is an absolute breeze. The aluminum really does make it super lightweight. Now, if you look in here behind my bike, you can see that I've got some mollies right here. These are what they consider a half molly, which is basically just small panels that have molly attachments. That gives you access to be able to get inside the bed of your truck. 
Unlike the full molly, you can't get access to the bed of your truck from the side, but with these half mollies, you can actually do that. I really like these. Now, I've seen configurations where there's three or four, so you can kind of buy these as you want. So if you wanted to have several of these, where right now I've only got two, I like the way this looks and I love having access to the bed of my truck. Now I live off a dusty gravel road and honestly, I was worried that this black would show a lot of gravel dust, but I haven't washed this thing in quite a while and it doesn't show dirt hardly at all. Now Kuat doesn't do huge branding on their products, which I really appreciate because something like this that you're putting on the back of your truck, you really just want it to stand out for what it is and not stand out for the brand. So Kuat just has a little logo right there and then one on the other side. And as for the rest of it, you just have to know that it's a Kuat by looking at it. Now the overall weight capacity of the Kuat IBIC system is gonna be about 1200 pounds. You can put 300 pounds of dynamic weight on this. So this thing is gonna be super sturdy with whatever you put on top of it. Before we get into talking about the bike rack and my experience with that, this is an a la carte system. So you will buy basically the frame for it, which could range anywhere from around $1,490 all the way up to $1,590, depending on which truck you have, whether it's a short bed, a long bed, and no matter which one you go with, you get the option to do mid height or full height. Now let's talk about my experience with it as a bike rider. This is the exact same Piston SR that I showed you guys in a review video that attached to my hitch. This is a super versatile bike rack that you can either hitch mount it, you can mount it to the side of the IVIX, or you can even do it as a roof mount. So there's a lot you can do with the Piston SR, but as for my experience with it on the IVIX setup, it's been pretty positive. Now for me, whenever I'm riding, say my normal mountain bikes that are non e-bikes, I prefer to have it mounted up here. It's easy to load and easy to unload. But whenever I do get into my heavier e-bikes, I usually wind up just getting out the Kuat Huck, which is their tailgate pad, and putting them in the bed of the truck, or I'll simply attach a rack to the hitch and load up my e-bike that way. But if you have a bike that's relatively lightweight, like this particular mountain bike here, isn't too heavy, I can easily lift this up, load it, and know that it's secure when I go down the road. So how Kuat attach this is really kind of nice. They use these really thick aluminum mounts right here, and they attach back here to the actual IBIC system on two of the T-channels. And they've also got those secure Allen keys. This thing is super, super secure. Now, as for a little bit of advice, whenever you're loading up your bike, I strongly recommend that you load it up backwards. And the only reason why I found this out is whenever I was going down the road about 50, 60 miles an hour, I noticed the front wheel wanted to kind of shake just a little bit when the wind was hitting it directly. But whenever I turned it around like this, that stopped dramatically. So the bike stays super secure. I don't have to worry about it wiggling or anything like that whenever it's facing backwards. And it doesn't really matter in the end, you can have them facing forwards or backwards. It's all personal preference. Now to fully install this on my truck and get it fully assembled out of the box, it did take several hours for me to actually do that. Now, primarily because I was filming part of it, but also because it's just pretty complicated and you have to make sure everything gets torqued down properly. After all, this thing is designed to hold a lot of weight, so you really wanna make sure that you've got this thing set up exactly the way that Kuat wants you to. Now, as for my overall experience with this as a cyclist, I've gotta be honest with you. It's very limited on the accessories that you can actually use with this product. I'm really hoping that Kuat comes out with some more cycling specific components that can attach to the mollies. I'm not really sure what they could come up with. Maybe something to hold a bike pump like on the inside of this molly right here and be able to quickly attach and detach it. That way you could just pop that on there whenever you're going to the trailhead. Whenever you get to the trailhead, you could pop it back on there and lock it in place or you could pop it off of there and put it in your car but having some cycling specific accessories would be really cool. So for me, the big benefit is having that bike rack on my truck all the time. So I know that no matter where I go with my truck, if I need to load up a bike, I've got a place for one. This particular setup that I have right here would run you about $3,000. That's for the mollies, the grab handle, the bottle opener, the frame, and the Piston SR bike rack. So if you guys wanna get one of these, you can kind of customize this and get the accessories you want, or you can just pick up accessories later. It's a super versatile system. 
that I think looks really rugged and tough and looks absolutely awesome on Tacomas and Jeeps. And I've seen a few on some Fords that look pretty awesome also. If you guys wanna pick one up, I'll put some links down below. If you use those links, it lets Kuat know that you came from my video, and I greatly appreciate that. And I think that if you're in the market for an overland style system like this, you should strongly consider the Kuat Ibex. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.